Manchester United in the final season. <laughs> tonight, very good, Mike. Thank you. We'll see you later on. We'll take a look at the front pages this morning. The front page of the Times um, takes a look at the idea of more than a trillion euros being injected into the Eurozone. And it's a halt, um, a slide into stagnation. This was announced yesterday. Um, the call to the Times, the stimulus is going to herald the era of cheap holidays and cut price imports for Britain, according to experts. So the pound did rise to a six year high against the euro. Um, the story here is that cyclists are going to take centre stage in Britain's trucking network after plans were drawn up for the first government safe cycling budget. Uh, quite a few of the papers this morning. Front page Daily Telegraph has a big image. Uh, yes, of course, this is Davos, uh, uh, where um, there's the World Economic Forum in Davos. And uh, this is the Duke of York taking the stage in front of business leaders and taking the opportunity to reiterate his comments uh, related to those allegations uh, against him. And also on the front page, you can see we'll talk a little bit more about this this morning. This uh, confusion to a degree about what's going to happen with these TV debates now, the suggestion that uh, at least one of the debates will be a seven way debate, seven political parties all on stage at one time. Um, Chris Andrews' picture is on the front page of The Guardian as well, more yeah. on the um, ECB <laughs> and uh, also The Guardian saying that the Twitter <laughs> has led to the um, um, it was announced yesterday that they have done cancer at uh, some time in the age 75. Yes, that story also on the front page of the Daily Mail, the question was about so uh, with the Thank you.